It's Banana Slime, here with another episode of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. So, uh, yeah, I decided to do two episodes in a row just because I'm pretty sure a lot of people like this series. So, and I had time this weekend, so I decided I'd give back to the community who's put me where I am today. So, as you can see, I've been doing some little improvement. I've added another door there, so you can get a house. Eh. Because there's going to be a city, and we need villagers and stuff to spawn. Okay, and in here, the farm has grown just a bit. And this has grown, which is nice. Now, let's get some seed. Ooh, three seeds. That's a really good thing. Ugh. We must sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, that sneeze made me lose my train of thought. Well, it was an almost sneeze. So, hmm. Uh, yeah, my farm is just starting to grow up a little. And I've done some serious improvements. For one thing, a lot more chests and stuff. Uh, that chest didn't really have anything, but this has some stuff for the episode we're going to be having today. So let's just take a sleep and get prepared. So... As you can see, I have been doing some improvements. I have, okay, those are mobs. I have started building myself a house. Well, another house to go in my village. Creeper. Let's get that creeper now. No, don't blow up my sand. No. Okay, guys. The reason I was upset about that is I have been working for a long time to collect sand and stuff from the surrounding area so I could fill this up and get a bunch of sand and have uh, so my city can be kind of flat or at least start out that way so I'll have like a, a blank canvas to start working on and he just blew up some of my sand this is the border right here so that was not good also running kinda low on food I haven't really gotten to the point where my farm is really amazing yet yeah, as you can see, I've extended the road over there. That right there is a dungeon, which we're probably going to conquer today. And there is my sugarcane farm. I haven't collected from it for a few minutes, and it's already grown up crazy. I have like 10 stacks of sugarcane. Uh, oh, uh, I was going to say that's all for updates, but also in the chest here, I went mining 38 iron, 11 gold, and 14 lapis. I don't care what anybody says. Lapis is cool. Lapis is amazing. Lapis is life. And I've just been kind of picking up some of P uh, P.S.'s redstone torches that he left for me to point me to my way here. So here's the magical P.S. test. Let's see if there's anything... Wow. <laughs> there's a lot of sand in here. I think P.S. might have trolled me or something. Joke's on him. I need the sand to fill up the rest of this place. I just mostly need over in that area. But let's see what he has to say. Today you are to build the first building in this brilliant city, noob. I take offense to that. Why does he always call me a noob? Also, I've seen how you've crafted tons of walls off camera. So start construction on a wall around the city. Oh, that's nice of him. He noticed how much work I've been putting in the crafting walls. You're definitely going to need lots of torches. Good luck. P.S. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. I have a good amount of sand now. Uh, so, item one. We're definitely going to need to build up this house. I think I can do that. Uh, so, I got this building supplies exactly what I needed uh, because it's gonna be in a Casey Wood house and I decided wouldn't it look cool if the floor were slabs of uh, birch wood because birch wood's like my second favorite type of wood behind uh, acacia. Acacia is uh, life, acacia is love. Three things that are love and uh, well cobblestone is love, cobblestone is life Lapis is love, lapis is life, uh, acacia wood is love, acacia wood is life, 
and sugar cane as love, sugar cane as life. Those are the things that are amazing in Minecraft. So, I thought I had enough to make this floor, but now I'm seriously doubting my ability to have enough to make a good floor. Probably gonna have to cut down some more trees. So, uh, uh, the floor is not super important at the moment. This is going to be our first villager house. So this is an exciting day. Uh, so we're gonna need all of this stuff. Oh, hardcore parkour. I just fall right down. Jump onto the... Nope. Uh, so yeah, I never said I was good at parkour. Uh, so tell me what you think about this house. I'm using the logs to make it look neat and stuff. Oh yeah, hardcore parkour success. So that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, I had an idea. I'm thinking in the center here of the house, we have a, like, a single pole coming up in the center. I believe there's a, wait, no. One forward. So close, yet so far. Uh, now let's chop down those. Chop. Chop. Uh, so yeah, what do you think of this house? What else do I need for my houses to be amazing? Leave a comment below on what you think this house needs. And I hurt myself. Ow. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a sweet house. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I know you guys will probably enjoy watching this. I don't want to put you all of that through of that, so... Well, I guess I'll show you a little more before I put on a time lapse or something. Uh, well, how's your day going? Mine's pretty good. Uh, you know, it is boring. You guys can see the finished project. Time lapse begin.
and that is it for one of this villager house. Uh, I'm going to put a second floor on top, obviously, because the roof's so flat, as you can see when I hedge at this angle. I think I'll do that off, can <laughs> off camera. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's how you make a basic little house. I like, you like how I put it on that half slab type of deal. Gonna have to work at those two wide windows. Spiders get in there, but they aren't a big problem, the villagers. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, now on to the next project. We've got to put a wall all the way around our base. Well, the city. This brilliant city of ours. We need a big wall to protect all of our future residents from the no from from the nasties. I almost said from the Nazis. Yeah, we've got to protect them from the Nazis because yes, there are Nazis in Minecraft. Dun dun dun. So this is probably gonna take a really long time. So super mega time lapse activate. <laughs> Done. Oh my gosh, I used all but, I think I used all but eight of those, uh, the walls. I cannot believe I got so incredibly lucky. I was only eight off from getting exactly the amount of walls that I needed. And now if anybody asks, you can say that you saw someone fence in like an entire biome. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. So now this entire town is encircled in. I'm going to have to put torches on all of this, uh, these wall parts. 
kind of done with the nasty spawning and killing everything. But that's for a later date. I'll probably do that off camera because that would just get annoying. Well, I've been dragging this episode out pretty far with all this stuff. It's probably not super long because of all the time lapsing. But yeah, this is a ton of work to get all of this thing done. Uh, I think one last thing to consider, uh, call this an episode, is to go conquer this thing. And then I can successfully say, call an episode. And I have successfully deactivated the spawner by covering it with torches. So now this spawner won't be any problem. I might want to keep it around in case I want to create some kind of mob farm. Uh, but I don't feel, I didn't know how to do that quite right now. Some sand is useful for continuing the fill in the holes and making my... Oh, here's the loot chest. Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Music discs. I hear zombies. Where are they? I don't know. Is it just the spawner? I'm pretty sure they can't spawn. Oh yeah, name tag. They can't spawn because that... Okay, it's back there. Okay, I, I'm leaving. This is gonna get bad really quickly, I'm guessing. If I stay in here much longer, I'm gonna end up getting myself killed. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. It, these last two episodes have been pretty times lap and time lapsey, but I don't want to bore you guys through all this crazy stuff. And it's probably stuff that you'd enjoy seeing. And probably looks pretty cool, like the snake of cobblestone walls is going all over the place. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and. How about you consider joining the Slimeling Rebellion, where we rebel against the haters, the grievers, the spammers, and those who just all around mess up our gaming experience. Until next time, I'm your host, Banana Slime. Goodbye!